What is up guys, welcome back to another flea market grab video. If you guys are enjoying the videos, please hit that like button, it lets me know and it helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below, I try to respond to all the comments I can and subscribe if you are not already and you guys do enjoy these videos. So let's go see what we can find this weekend. I found this, it's a 80s Kodak Olympic bag. Nothing like crazy, but I thought it was kind of cool. I've been digging through this pile for a while. Found this Nautica skiing. Sea World, Twilight of Terror. And this is probably the best one right here, which I'll go into more detail in the pickup part. And then we got some Space Jam bedding. And then a couple of hats. So, see how much he wants for all this. Just pulled this one out of the pile. I'm starting to run out of room in my hand. <laughs> How much are the shoes? Three bucks. Kind of cool. Never seen this hat in particular, so I thought it was kind of cool. I wish this DDP was in better shape. I know I'm gonna give you nothing. Hey, I got I did find these though for 20 bucks. All right, guys, so we are back, and um, I'm gonna show you everything that I picked up. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into the pickup. Let's start off with the video games like I usually do. The first video game I picked up, only paid $1 for this, this is why I picked it up. It's a copy of Driver 2 on the PS1. Discs are still in great shape and it is complete with the manual. So I figured for only a buck, I'd go ahead and grab that one. Next up, I paid five bucks for this one. Um, it's a loose copy of Wii Sports. Reason why I picked this one up is because um, I actually have a empty case, but I didn't have the game. So I figured I'd pick up the game, throw it in the case, and um, I have a complete in-box copy. I actually already own it complete, so I'll probably end up getting rid of this one. The next game I picked up is not really a game, it's just a case, but it's actually the opposite of the Wii Sports. I had the loose disc here, um, but I didn't have the case. So I picked up the case and manual for only two bucks. It's a copy of uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. This game actually went up in price recently the past couple months. I remember I was having a hard time getting like $15 for this game. Now I want to say this game is like a $30, $35 game. Um, so I figured I'd go ahead and uh, grab the case because like I said, I do have a loose copy to throw in here and um, get rid of it because I actually already own it. And then the last game I picked up, I paid basically retail on this one, um, but it's one that I wanted for my personal collection because um, I mentioned before I'm a big Atlas fan. This is one I did not have. And that is a copy of Baroque, Baroque, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but it's this one right here. Never played this one personally, but like I said, it's, um, I'm a big Atlas fan. So I'm trying to go back and collect all the ones I don't have. And that one is like pristine condition, complete with the manual. So I had to pick up that one. I guess let's go ahead and do the hats next. This first little group of hats I paid a dollar each for. The first one is this Jayhawk snapback right here. It still has like this little thing on it. The hat itself, it looks like it's never been worn. Um, the only problem is like the brim. I don't know what this material is that they made it out of, but it's like starting to flake off. I don't know if you would like consider this like a suede or like a rubber or something, but like the hat itself is in, still in great shape. And I got that one. That's the first one I got for a dollar. Second one I got for a dollar. I just thought this one was really cool. It's a little toddler hat. <laughs> um, it's this Snoopy Peanuts hat right here. I have Snoopy spelt out right there on the brim and him skateboarding, playing hockey, baseball, football all around the top. I don't know if this one's worth anything because it's a little small toddler hat, but um, I thought it was really cool for only a dollar. Next one I picked up is this 1992 Cavino's Italian Open. I don't know if that's like a golf tournament that went on or something. Honestly, I haven't looked this one up yet, but I figured for only a dollar I'd go ahead and grab it. The next one I got is this Save the Planet Hard Rock Cafe in this like forest green color. On the back, you got love all, serve all. Next one I got, I thought this was an adult size, but it turns out it's a youth size. It's this grumpy snuff bag. Snap back, snap back right here. He's got him right there on the front, looking grumpy, of course. And then you got grumpy on the back arch. Thought it was uh, adult, but then I saw this tag where it says youth. Um, and then I noticed it was really tiny, but still not too bad for a dollar. And then the last one in this group that I got for a dollar is this Sylvester hat right here. It's just Sylvester on the front with the S and then on the back, Sp Sylvester spelled out. And this one is one of those like, um, what would you call this? Like a hair tie type 
adjustment. <laughs> and that one is actually from 1993. So that's all the hats I got for a dollar. These next three I paid three dollars each for. So I picked up these three for three dollars each. This was the first one I found this Indy Racing League logo athletic hat. Pretty cool, you have like the checker print on the brim, logo athletic on the side. And on the back, you can see it's a Velcro back. It actually says Indy Racing League back there. I've never seen one of these before, so I thought it was pretty cool. So I went ahead and grabbed it for three bucks. Next one I grabbed for three bucks is this Ultimate Spider-Man hat. Here for three bucks, I go ahead and grab it. You just have the big spider right there on the front. And then on the back, you have Marvel Ultimate Spider-Man, Marvel tag on the inside. So I went ahead and grabbed that one. And then this last one I found, I thought was kind of cool. And it's this vintage Nissan hat right here. Um, as you can see though, it's blank on the front, but then it has like lightning all the way around. There's the tag right there. When I see this, it reminds me of like The Rock. So it would be kind of cool to get like an old school rock patch or something to put right here, or maybe even like DDP. Um, and I think this hat would look pretty cool. I went ahead and grabbed it for three bucks. So this next big chunk of stuff I'm about to show you guys, I actually got from the same person that I picked up all those dollar hats from. But everything I'm about to show you, I got for a dollar each as well. The first thing is this Kodak Olympic bag right here. Pretty sure this is 80s. Just thought it was pretty cool. So I went ahead and picked that up. I really like the colorway on it. So I had to grab it. Next thing I picked up also, a only a dollar is this sea world tee right here it is a men's size small you got the wells on the front and then on the back it's the back of them cool all over print tie-dye shirt so i figured i'd scoop that up for a dollar then the next thing i got is this vintage reebok windbreaker nothing crazy you just have the little tiny logo right there on the chest green blue and white that one is a size xl wish it had something on the back but it does not but you can't really go wrong for only a buck this tee i thought was pretty cool might actually honestly keep this one it's still brand new with tags um, so I'm not too sure if I'm going to hold on to this one or not. But it's this Twilight Zone Tower of Terror uh, Disney World tee. As you can see, you got the big graphic right there on the front with the Hollywood uh, Tower Hotel. And then on the back, you got Understand the Gravity of the Situation. That one's a size XL, and like I said, it's still brand new with tags. So I might hold on to this one. I'm not 100% sure, though. Next item I grabbed was this Nautica sweater right here. Just thought the colorway on it was pretty cool. It's like yellow and blue. And you have like the little Nautica skiing logo. And then on the inside collar, it's pink. And that one's actually a size large. Honestly, I've been trying to stay away from like jackets and sweaters right now because it's, you know, getting hotter and they're not selling like they were. But it's really hard to pass this stuff up when it's only $8 and it's like this clean. Like this thing looks like it's never been worn. So I had to scoop that one up. This next one's probably like my favorite shirt that I found um, out of all the dollar clothes I got. I thought this one was really cool. It's this MGM all over print, like lion tee. As you can see, you got MGM with the lion. There's like the little logo right there. And that one goes all over the front and the back. That is actually a single stitch tee. Uh, unfortunately, it is a double XL, so it's too big for me. But definitely one of the coolest shirts I found in a while. Um, especially getting it for only a dollar. But not only did I get all those clothes for a dollar, I also got these pieces of bedding for a dollar each. And um, I try to keep them together because they all go together. And that's because they're all Space Jam items. So the first thing I got, I thought it was a pillowcase until I got home and opened it. Um, it turns out it's like the curtain, like the top of the curtain. Um, and it's a Space Jam one right here. As you can see, that one's dated 1996 right there underneath Daffy. And you just got like all of the Toon Squad and then Monstars as well. I thought this was a pillowcase, like I said, uh, but still cool for only a dollar. Then next up, we got not one, but two of these Space Jam pillowcases. As you can see, there they are right there. You basically have the same characters on it, but this one's blue instead of white. Um, the other one's the exact same thing, so I don't think y'all wanna see it. And then also to go along with those two pillowcases, I got the bed skirt that went with it. Unfortunately, it is a twin, so I have no use for it. <laughs> So um, I will be getting rid of these, but as you can see, it's dated 1996 as well. But I just thought it was cool to find the bed skirt and the two pillowcases. I wish that curtain was a pillowcase as well, but it's whatever. Um, so I paid $4 total for that because everything was a dollar each. And then sticking to the theme of the Space Jam stuff, um, this was another thing I pulled out of that big pile of clothes that I got everything for a dollar from. So I paid only a dollar for this and I've already sold it for 175. And I'm not gonna lie, when I found it, I thought it was like a kid's item. Well, not like a kid's item, but like a Build-A-Bear type thing, like something you put like on a stuffed animal or something, because it was so tiny. But it turns out it was a toddler jersey, and it's this Toon Squad Bugs Bunny Champion jersey right here. Like, if you guys can see, look how small this thing is. It looks like something that goes on like, um, like a kid's doll or something, it's so tiny. But as you can see on the jock tag right there, it is a toddler jersey. That was funny. Um, the guy pulled out this box that this was in. Um, I was like on the other side and I saw everybody digging through the box that he just threw out there. Um, and people were just throwing this to the side, like nobody wanted it. So I rushed over there and grabbed it. And I'm glad I did because I had no idea this thing was worth as much as it is. I threw it up on eBay for $175 and I was like, you know what? 
Uh, somebody's probably gonna offer me less and um, I'll listen to offers or whatever. But it actually sold for the $175 I listed it for and it sold pretty quick. So I don't know if I underpriced it or if these just don't pop up that often. But um, I'm glad that I got to it before somebody else picked it up. Crazy to me that this little tiny thing is worth that much, but I guess so. And then the last three items I picked up this week are all sneakers. So this first pair I paid $20 for. Um, I would have liked to get them a little bit cheaper than that, but it's fine because um, these things are still super clean. So that's why I went ahead and paid the $20 for them. It's this pair of Air Max 95s right here. They're a size 12. I don't know if these have like a specific name or anything, but it's kind of like this like mango color, blue and white. Uh, there's a tag size 12. These came out in 2017. Inside still have the Nike Air on them. Bottoms are still super clean. So I had no issues uh, picking these up for 20 bucks. So I figured I can throw them up for 100 and then see what kind of offers I get on them. And there's the other one. Same condition, still pretty clean. And then these last two shoes, I got both from the same vendor. Paid $20 each on these as well. Uh, but they were definitely worth it. I actually already sold one of the pairs. And that first pair that I already sold is actually these right here. The Orange Box Nike SB Dunk Lows. So these are a size 11. But as you guys can see, these are beaters. They have scuffs like all on the toe. Um, there's a scuff right here. The right shoe is not as bad as the left shoe. You do have a little bit of um, ankle ripping right there, but the scuffing is not as bad on this one as on this one, like if you guys can see that. But I paid 20 bucks for them, listed them as beaters for $130, and they sold like that. Um, yeah, I probably could have got more for them, but I really don't care, because like I said, I only paid 20 bucks for them, and I sold them for $130. I'll let somebody else either skate them or uh, try to restore them or do whatever they want to do with them. Oh, I'm happy with that. And then the second pair I picked up, as you guys saw, it was from the same table that those were on. It's this pair right here. Uh, probably going to mispronounce them, but these are the Nike SB Eshad Wire. Wire? Wire? I don't know, the name's right there. Basically, it's just an SB Dunk with a thin tongue and then like the liner's really thin, if you guys can see that. I honestly had never seen a pair of these before I got them. Um, when I picked them up, I was like, it's kind of weird that these are a Nike SB, but there's like no padding in them. Doesn't that kind of take away the reason for them to be an SB. And at this point, I guess they're kind of just like a normal dunk. But unlike the orange box ones, these are actually still in decent shape overall, as you guys can see. Bottoms are still pretty clean. Pick these up for 20 bucks as well. Um, and I looked up pairs on eBay to see what people were asking for them. And there's like pre-owned pairs people are asking like $400 for, which is crazy. Like, I don't know if that's what they're selling for. But what I do know is that 20 bucks was a great deal for these. So that's everything I picked up at the flea market this weekend, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please hit that like button and let me know. Help the channel grow, subscribe, and drop a comment. And I will see you guys next week with another one. So, later. I'm a chef, chef too.